we are independent, we're impartial and we're international. That is where we get our integrity from, that people know at the end of the day that Crisis Group belongs to no other constituency but one, which is those who are caught at the centre of conflict. Crisis Group is an organisation that focuses on saving lives through prevention, first and foremost, mitigation and resolution. The, the consequences, as we see in the conflict um, context, is refugees, wars, displacement, hunger and famine. We come ahead of that in our work because we fundamentally believe that prevention is better than cure. And prevention is less costly um, and it allows you to ensure um, stability for the long run as well. Our analysts work on 55 um, conflicts and crises across six regions. Um, they speak 40 languages. They don't fly in and out of a conflict. So whether it's in Venezuela, whether it's in Burkina Faso, where we alerted a year before the coup was going to happen. You know, whether it's in Mozambique, for example, where we saw the creeping trend towards an insurgency in Cameroon, you know, patiently monitoring um, the, the Anglophone crisis. Colombia, um, where we, we stay the course, so we accompanied the peace process that eventually emerged in 2016. And even after that peace process was signed, we have spent time on the ground monitoring the course of that peace process. But what, when you read a crisis group report, when you listen to our analysts, when they, when they step into the room and when they're speaking to the conflict actors, when they're spe speaking to decision makers, you'll hear a very objective view about how to save lives, how to prevent the conflict, how to mitigate that crisis, and how to find a resolution to that crisis as well. I would come from parents um, who came from a country um, where the word genocide was used to describe the civil war in that country, and that's Nigeria. They found themselves in, in London, where I was born was an accident of history because they couldn't go home. And the effects of that did not become clear until much later in my life as well. Because I started to listen to the stories, um, I started to read um, about Nigeria's civil war, I started to learn about other civil wars in, in other places of the world. It became a personal quest to be able to contribute in a meaningful way and to see how it was we could find a pathway to peace. I never want to be told that I can't go home and that's why I chose Crisis Group because it matched what I believed in. Crisis Group's mandate um, remains the same today as it was when it was founded 25 years ago and that mission um, of saving lives, of prevention, of mitigation, of resolution is ever vital. We are talking when Europe is facing its biggest um, challenge you know, to its security architecture. We are watching various mega trends that are affecting the conflict landscape, whether it's climate security, disinformation, the misuse and the abuse of social media. All of this now is, is complicating um, the, the landscape and that today is, is the reason why I stay at Crisis Group because I, I fundamentally believe that there is a way in which you can knit this really carefully to help you know, shape the pathway out of, out of crisis. <laughs>